Hello, this question is for uh, Robert. Did, did I hear that VPAT is going away or VPAT2 is the new template and uh, the finished product is the conformance report? The latter. Okay. The VPAT1 has been replaced by VPAT2 and if you go to the ITIC website, you'll see the VPAT2 template. It consists of eight to nine pages of instructions then a form that provides WCAG reporting, 508 reporting, and EN reporting, depending on who the, the document is being created for sections that do not relate to that audience. Like we, in the US government, we don't need to see EN reporting. They can be collapsed and hidden. When the report is generated, the instructions are supposed to be deleted, and then you have the product name in the title accessibility conformance report. So the VPAT is a tool to generate an accessibility conformance report. And it's, it has much better instructions and um, uh, much better guidance on how to provide a complete conformance report than what we had before. 